thank you for allowing me to be here with you and to be able to share uh, some of the things uh, uh, according to what I understood that I need to share about trees in the Bible. Yes. And uh, even though we are the second month of the year, but allow me to tell you Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> we are in the year of 2023. Do you know what happened on the third day? Of creation. of creation. So we go back uh, and think uh, because a uh, couple couple weeks ago uh, we do have a home church and I preached uh, on the number three. It was a whole message. If you like, I can send you the podcast of it. <laughs> but it is in the Arabic language. But according to Genesis 1, 11 to 13, uh, th- said, Then God said, Let the land produce vegetation vegetation, seed-bearing plants and trees on the land that bear fruits with seeds in it, according to their various kinds. And it was so, when God said something, when God commands something, and that is the first living that happened. The land produced vegetation, plant-bearing seeds according to their kinds, and trees bearing fruits with seeds in it according to their kinds. And God saw that it was good. And there was an evening and that, and there was morning the third day. So if we look at, uh, this is the first uh, third day that happened in the universe that God have created the plants. When we say about plants, we're talking about all trees, uh, vegetables, everything green that you can think about that God has created on the third day. And we are 2023, so maybe it is a message for us to think about also something that's connected with three. Jonah was in the well for three days, and Jesus used that and say, as Jonah was three days, uh, that's how the Son of Man will be in the tomb. That's why uh, also number three is uh, the resurrection uh, day because Jesus rose from the dead uh, on the third day. Going also uh, Genesis 2, uh, just to share uh, something also. And now uh, the Lord have planted in the garden uh, in the east, the garden of Eden. In Eden. And there he put the man he have found that created on the sixth day. The Lord God made all things of trees grow out of the ground, trees that were pleasant to the eye and good for food. In the middle of the garden were the tree of life and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. So there was two trees in the garden of Eden, the tree of life and the tree of good and evil. I don't want to go in. So yeah, uh, Genesis 2, we're talking about uh, the tree of life. And according to uh, what uh, I believe, or Christians believe, that the tree of life is Jesus Christ. And we connect that. We were talking about that uh, coming in the car. And we're talking about connecting the book of Genesis with the book of Revelation, where it says that the tree of life is uh, the Lord Jesus Christ. So God have blessed us with trees. And it is a big blessing for us because without that, uh, we cannot live, basically. And I would like to read for you uh, something that uh, Jesus Christ have uh, taught about uh, in using the trees as a parable. And it is uh, taken from Luke 13. 6 to 9. And uh, then it said, Then he told this parable, that's Jesus Christ. A man had a fig tree growing in his vineyard, and he went to look for fruit on it, but did not find any. So he said to the man who took care of the vineyard, For three years now I've been coming to look for fruit on this fig tree and haven't found any. Cut it down. Why should it you use up the soil? Uh, Sir, the man replied, leave it alone for one more year and I'll dig around it and fertilize it 
if it bears fruit next year, fine. If not, then cut it down. We can go uh, uh, really deep in this uh, proverb, but uh, it talks about pruning, and it talks about how a man is put in the uh, in the garden or in earth to take care of the trees. If the tree is does not uh, bear fruit, then what use uh, is it for the soul? It needs to be taken off. But uh, this also shows us God's mercy and love that uh, God gives us always uh, lots of time, years and maybe decades for us to get back and align uh, with him, with the creator. Uh, and also continuing uh, about what Christ have uh, talked about uh, the trees, using uh, the trees and different things to illustrate different uh, teaching that Christ himself ha have said. In Matthew 7, 15, it says, Watch out for false prophets. They come to you in sheep clothing. In, in valley, they are furious wolves. But their fruit, you will recognize them. Now it talks about the trees. Do people pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Likewise, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, and a bad tree cannot bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Thus, by their fruit, you will recognize them. Again, uh, you, every tree have its own thing. You cannot uh, get uh, grapes from uh, olives or, or olives from thrones. Every t uh, and ag again, Jesus uh, also talks about this in uh, Matthew twelve thirty three. Say, make make a tree good, and its fruit will be good. Or make a tree bad, and its fruits will be bad. For a tree, it's recognized by its fruits. It's talking about a person, how his uh, fruit, his deeds, his actions will reflect on the inside. There is a, there is an Arabic say, say, what is on the heart, the tongue speaks. So from the heart, the tongue speaks. And that's why uh, we need maybe to, to pray with uh, David, uh, what he prayed, create in me a clean heart, O oh God. And uh, the last uh, two verses, uh, John 15, John 15, 1 to 5, Jesus said, I am the true vine, and my father is the gardener. Now he goes a little bit also deeper. He cuts off every branch, every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes, so it will be more fruitful. You are already clean because of the words I have spoken to you. Remain in me as I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. You, you cannot have fruit without the tree itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither uh, can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine and you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit apart from me you cannot do anything. And what is the main important thing for the trees? This is a question. Yeah, water is correct, but what is more? Light. And the most important thing is light. That's why uh, I end with the verse of John 8, 12. When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the word. Whoever follows me, will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. The most important is light. Without light, the plant cannot produce the chlorophyll that help it to bring the fruits. And God is the light. If we want to bear good fruits, we need to be connected to the source, to the creator, to God himself. 
because if God is in us, then he will uh, come out of us through our fruits, love. If, uh, if God is not connected to us, then something else or someone else, evil, evil or Satan is connected that bring evil, destruction. And my prayer to all that let us uh, get a hold uh, closer to God because uh, God is life and through him is the light that makes us do anything that we can do in his name.